Saracen King. 1,365 meters. They're ready. And they're off. Cassius King gave away about a length. Arctic Flyer jumps out nicely. Mazar along the inside is right up there. Saracen King in the white and green. But it's Mazar who shows the way. Saracen King is sick. And Arctic Flyer all over the place trying to be restrained and find a slot on the rail. But Tigre Libre is making life difficult. And that now moves up into a prominent position. It's Magic J on the wide outside who's also going forward to look for a handy spot. Chap Trap and the Brass Bowl travel together about five lengths off the leader. Then three lengths away to Kentucky Bluegrass. They followed further back in the field by what's news and the trailer is Cash's King down the back straight they go and Massar's taken a hold and Magic J is allowed to stride alongside so too Saracen King in the white sleeves and the green cap Tigre Libre has got the run of the race at the rail in fourth and Arctic Flyer continues to be a tough ride in the light blue then comes the Brass Spell racing at that one's outside as Chap Trap after them Kentucky Bluegrass Cash's King won from last and what's news is out back but only six lanes cover them they're about to swing for home Massar's in front half a lane Clear. Saracen King heard the cry. That's under a ride to close the deficit. Magic J's been exposed throughout. Chap, chap, up the inside. Tigre Libre is just two off the leader. What's news in between runners? Arctic Flyer trying to stay on. Massar still in front. Kentucky Bluegrass towards the outside. Magic J in between them to his credit is also sticking around. But it's Massar in front from Magic J. Massar has beaten Magic J. Kentucky Bluegrass and Tigre Libre will run fourth. So number nine, Massar had the advantage of draw number one, but he had to fend off a whole host of challenges here. Sunil Basunts is the winning rider from the uh, Sudel stable. And the orange colours of Massar will hold off number 10, Magic J, who was a tad unlucky, didn't have any luck in running, was forced to race deep. Kentucky Bluegrass also hooks towards the extreme outside. And number seven on the card, Tigre Libre, didn't kick on. He just stayed on pretty one pace for fourth. And a whole heap of them all queuing up for minor money. But it will be number nine, Massar, from start to finish. You uh, didn't want anything to go past him throughout the race. There was pressure for the lead. Nope, nothing headed him. And there was pressure getting down to the line. But again, nothing headed him. And Massar is going to hold off number ten. Then came four. Then came seven. That's race two. First leg of the place accumulator.